Hey, welcome back to InfoGamer. We're going to keep building our snake game. In previous videos, we showed you how to code the movement of our snake. In this video, we're going to show you how to make it so that your snake will change directions when you give it an input. So let's go to our scripts and open our game controller script. Now we're going to create a new function and it's going to be called, we're going to have it be void and we're going to do comp for our computer and then change And then we're going to say D for direction. Now inside this function, we're going to have four different if statements. So the first one is going to be if, and then we're going to type NESW, and then we're going to type does not equal, so exclamation point equals, and then we're going to say one, two, does not equal two, and then we're going to do a double and percent, and then the second part to this if statement is input dot get key down and then key code dot w. And so what this if statement is doing is it's making sure that we're not traveling down and then making sure that we can't change directions to be going up when we're going down. But in the other case, so if we're going up then we're going to keep the same direction. If we're going right or left, we're going to change direction to be going up. So if they input W, which is the standard WASD movement controls, you could also input for the arrow keys. I just like using the WASD controls. But now we're going to set NESW equal to zero. And what we can do is we can copy this if statement three more times. And then we just need to change a couple values. So the next one, we're going to make sure that we're not traveling left. So we're going to type a three. And then we're going to have the key code be D. And then we're going to set NESW equal to 1 for traveling east, which is to the right. Then the next one, we're going to say if it does not equal 0, and we're going to have the key code be S for down. And then we're going to have NESW become 2. And for the final if statement, we're going to say does not equal 1. And then the key code will be A. And the direction will become 3. So this just makes sure that we, we can't go backwards. So if we're going up, it makes sure that we can't change direction to be going down. Because if we change direction to be going down, then we're going to collide with ourself and that will create an error. That, that will be a, a flaw in the controls that the user would have to then remember to avoid. But if we can code it in so that the user doesn't even run into the problem, then they'll, they'll have a lot more fun playing our game. Now the last thing that we need to do before we test this is call our change direction function in the update. So we'll go up to the top in our update function. Let me fix these curly braces. We're going to type comp change d and then parentheses and semicolon. Now if we save it and go back to Unity we can test it and see if it works. So let's hit play. Our snake is growing down. If I hit D, it now starts growing to the right. If I hit up, it grows up. And if I hit S, I, it won't do anything because I'm going up and I don't want to go down. So S doesn't work right now. But if I hit A, I start going left. I can't hit D. I can hit down. 
I can hit left, I can hit up, I can go in all different directions. So that concludes this video for changing directions. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure that you like and subscribe and share with your friends, and we'll see you next time.